just discovered two years ago. Walking on my own. With my dad. It's, uh, it is nerve wracking. His arm is vibrating the entire time. I'm vibrating a little bit. No, you're good. Yeah. You're good. I still feel the same love that I've had for Kelly this entire time. She's exactly the woman that I've been looking for. I mean, I, I feel certain about what I'm about to you know, do. So, above anything else, I'm just excited. Love you. Yeah, love you. Okay. Ready appropriate about to talk to you either way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah, nice to, well, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. More glasses of champagne. I'm good. Oh, dear. I noticed the land of no return. Kenny is extremely supportive and he's my best friend, my confidant, my person. Having a partner to love for the rest of my life means everything and it's a very big commitment. And I'm definitely not taking it lightly. <laughs> so I'm just very anxious. <laughs> just want to let you know how proud I am of you. I really am. I love you. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen. Will you please rise for the bride? One night, change my life forever. Kelly's absolutely gorgeous. She's even more beautiful than I could have ever imagined, and I am immensely happy. It was like, holy smokes, like this is me and her. You may be seated. <clears throat> Family and friends, we're gathered here today for something amazing. Holy matrimony, marriage, love is unpredictable, especially in these circumstances. The both of you fell in love and got engaged, sight still unseen. <laughs> it was all based on just your deep connection, your emotional connection that you guys made. It became clear in a short amount of time that Kenneth and Kelly found exactly what they were looking for. In love, right there. Do you remember? You know, not only did we meet um, by the complete happenstance and to have thought that going into this experiment that we would be here right now is is unbelievable. And I know that everyone that is here uh, for the most part, are blind supporters of you. And I want you to understand that. You know, we haven't had an opportunity to talk to the majority of the people in this room or for them to meet you and for them to meet me. And it doesn't matter, right? Because we know what we've experienced. I have nothing but love for your family, that we have their support. And they're here for us, thick and thin. And the only thing that also matters is that I'll always be here for you. No matter what. And I can't wait to be a continued part of your life. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this experiment, um, I mean, it brought me to you. Someone who is so fabulous in every single aspect, <laughs> you know, and this has been a wild ride and I'm grateful that it has been with you because you've been nothing but supportive and I appreciate every single moment that I shared with you. I love you. Now is the time to decide if love is blind. Together in the presence of friends and family, we discover if you will walk together in life as husband and wife or walk away from each other forever. Kelly, do you take Kenneth to your lawful wedded husband to 
to live together in holy state of matrimony. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping only unto him so long as you both shall live. I absolutely adore you and love you. I love you. I don't. I can't marry you. Um, and I hope that you can appreciate that and respect that decision of mine. Obviously, this is just a, uh, it's a whirlwind for everyone. Uh, and again, don't want to you know, dive too deep into it and, and delve uh, because you take something that's so complex and it is authentic and it is real, but today is, is not our day. Um, but I love each and every one of y'all and, uh, and it's something that I'll cherish and be grateful for, for forever, so. I'm 33. I should know what the fuck I want right now, you know, excuse my language, but I should know what I want. And I and he's checking off every box. But my love, my, my feelings for him were not as intense as his apparently are for me. So I really do love you and I, I love you too. Appreciate you being here. Yeah, you too. I really can't answer that question right now. And it's completely, you have to actually, you know, respect the fact that I'm telling you this. I don't know. And, and please stop recording this because it's not, this, that's wrong. What? What you're asking me. How you feel about Kelly? This is not about how I feel about Kelly. I'm not going to have things, no, please stop recording, Jimmy. We're not getting married. I don't know if we're going to maintain a relationship. And it's, quite honestly, it doesn't matter either way. But I'm not going to speak to that. So you don't know if you're going to say it It doesn't matter. I'm not answering that. Just, it's very upset.